is working with a coach really all that beneficial? Why can't you just go to groups like Toastmasters or other organizations to improve? Well, the answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. Since I became a coach in 2011, a question that I've often read and heard is, do people really need a coach to improve their speeches? Can't they just go to Toastmasters, take a couple of classes? It's a fair question. And in some cases, yes. Some of the coaching advice that I've heard is it comes out of a box that was created 50 years ago. Those coaches are outdated and I don't think they help. Last night, I was reminded of the importance of working with a coach. Keep in mind, I'm a coach myself. I'm a professional speaker. I've written books on this topic, created courses. I was working with a gentleman named Michael Haig. I've mentioned him in other tips. Michael is a business consultant and has worked in the uh, movie industry for 35 years. He's a script writing consultant. He knows storytelling. I asked him to help me with a story that I've been really struggling with. I shared the, the rough version of the story with Michael and for the next 30 minutes he asked me questions and we went back and forth. And at the end of a half hour, he gave me this insight. Michael, I don't think you're ready to tell this story. It hasn't reached its conclusion. And any good story to have a lasting impact needs to, the hero to cross the finish line. You haven't crossed the finish line yet. Bingo. That's what I needed to hear. A problem that everyone has, including coaches, is that we're too close to our own material. We're way too close to our own stories. And we can't see the holes in the story or why it's not connecting. We feel the connection because we experienced it. We don't understand why others aren't. That's why a coach is so critical. Could you get that in a Toastmasters meeting or a National Speakers Association meeting? Maybe. But a lot of times the people in those audiences are not qualified coaches or they're novice speakers. They're just getting started. They may not give you the insight that you need. What Michael was able to do in 30 minutes, taking his 35 years of wisdom, is listen to my story and find the whole, what was missing. That's why coaching is so valuable. It doesn't have to be just in speaking. It could be executive coaching, business coaching. If you want to become proficient or even world-class in any endeavor, I suggest you get a coach. Find someone who's an expert in that area where you want to do well. That individual, in the long run, will save you years of frustrating trial and error. They'll definitely save you money and time. That is why you should get a coach. See you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.